Good afternoon. Um, for those of you who I haven't met before, and I'm pretty sure I've met just about everyone here, my name's Zach Lehman. I'm the headmaster here at the Hill. On behalf of the entire Hill School community, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy weekend schedule to join us here for this momentous occasion. Uh, this afternoon, we celebrate the groundbreaking of the Shirley Quadrivium Center, a $19 million, 40,000 square foot facility that will revolutionize scientific education at the Hill School, and notably, the largest physical plant project in the history of our school. The center will link the historic Widener Arts and Crafts Building, which is behind me somewhere, uh, to create a combined structure that will house the school's science, math, engineering, computer science, emerging technologies, digital design, and visual communications curricula. The powerful combination of thoughtful programs, effective teaching, and deliberately designed academic space will shape Hill students into creative problem solvers and highly effective critical thinkers. And in keeping with our academic vision, they will become world citizens prepared to orchestrate positive change throughout their lives. This fir first-rate facility will prepare Hill students to follow in the footsteps of alumni who have distinguished themselves in the sciences, such as Hugh DeHaven, class of 1914, who was a pioneer in studying and improving automatic, excuse me, automotive safety features. Malin Hogland, class of 1940, a biochemist who discovered transfer RNA. John Backus, class of 1942, a leading computer scientist who helped develop the world's first widely used high-level programming language, Fortran. Harold Firth, class of 1947, a longtime astrophysics professor at Princeton who was a leader in fusion science, and Bruce Partridge, class of 1957, an award-winning astronomer, and many, many more. I would like to first thank the original Quadrivium design team. It's like an original band. Uh, Jason Cody, Liz Dolhoff, John Dolhoff, Patrick Hagerman, Len Miller, Diane Richards, Josh Schmidt, Josh Schmidt Jay Spencer, and Bill Yinger, who spent countless hours traveling the country with me, visiting a variety of schools, universities, and businesses to develop a premier STEM curriculum so that we could then design a purposeful academic space for teaching and learning. Let's give them a round of applause. If I clap, my papers will fly away, so figure that out. Second, I'd like to acknowledge a number of additional faculty and staff members who've played a pivotal role in the design of the Quadrivium Center itself. David Allen, Damian Verity, Brett Diagardi, Linda Hamilton Kirk, Tim Jump, Jeff Neese, and Andy Skitko. If we could give them a round of applause. Third, as we all know, a project like this does not get off the ground without numerous hours of planning and preparation. A special thanks to Jeff Grimm, Director of Facility Services, Robin Rhodes, Assistant Director of Fa uh, Facility Services for Capital and Special Projects, and Rick Wood, our Chief Financial and Operating Officer, for their work to move this project forward. Can't clap. And finally, although there are nearly 100 key contributors to this project already, I would like to especially thank three. First, seven years ago, there was a simple mandate in our strategic plan that suggested, quote, the creation of a science, technology, engineering, and math center, end quote. That was it. We had no idea what that would entail or how to get there. Carl Fehrenbach, Hill class of 1960, was our first believer. He funded our initial curriculum study and has since made a significant leadership gift and then another one to the project through the High Meadows Fund. We most certainly would not be standing here were it not for Carl. Let's give him a round of applause. Second, as the class of 1984 celebrates their 35th reunion this weekend, we're very fortunate that one of their most generous classmates has ensured the success of this project with not just one, but two leadership gifts to the project. Please join me in thanking Phil Hammerschold and his wife Alicia 
for their generous support in underwriting the Class of 1983 classroom, the Mark Nelson classroom, and the Hammershold lobby. Thank you, Philip. And last, but certainly not least, on behalf of the thousands of students and faculty who will enjoy the structure for many, many years to come, I offer our genuine thanks to John Shirley, Hill School Class of 1956 and current grandparent for making the facility a reality. I'm humbled by Mr. Shirley's philanthropic support of this project and truly grateful for his partnership in elevating the Hill's academic programs to the next level. People talk about transformational gifts and John's gift to establish the Shirley Quadrivium Center will most certainly create a transformational learning experience for our students. John's in Hawaii, I think, right now, but let's clap loud enough for him to hear us. <laughs> Following this groundbreaking today, construction will continue through the summer of 2020 with a grand opening in the fall of 2020. We're all very excited to get this project underway, and we look forward to welcoming you all back next, well, a, yeah, 12 months from now or so, uh, for the dedication. I'd like to now invite Preston Athey, Hill School Class of 1967, and our board chair, Jim Alexan, Hill School Class of 1975, Bob Oberender, Hill Class of 1978, Andy Susloff, Hill Class of 1971, Rick Wood, our Chief Financial and Operating Officer, and Jeff Grimm, Director of Facility Services, to come forward for the official groundbreaking. And I'll also ask, uh, or, or Christian Sockel will let you know, there's some other members of our design team and, and uh, Quadrivium team who we'd like to step forward uh, for the groundbreaking. Thank you. No, no, not with the dirt. And then we'll shovel all at once. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please join me in a word of prayer. We are gathered here today to celebrate a new beginning in this groundbreaking ceremony. Many people are here today from different places. Together we share the same desire, that this new building be the best possible place for our young people to study and to grow. We come this day after many days of planning and discussing, agreeing and disagreeing and finally deciding, and we know that these days are not over yet. We're grateful to God for putting it in our hearts to build for the vision and dedication of all who have planned and worked and sacrificed toward this end. We are grateful for the gift of land and the ability to use it wisely. We place our plans for this building site and for the entire school into God's hands, trusting God's guidance. Allow the work we are beginning to enliven our faith and to make us more grateful and finally, as we watch the expansion of this Quadrivium Center come to reality, may we never lose sight of our mission to inspire, act, and to care for each other and for the wider community in which we live. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Adams. Um, I encourage you all to come forward and see the model and some of the renderings of the facility. You're not allowed in the buildings. Uh, and there's some champagne, and then we'll all meet at the bouncy house in 10 minutes <laughs> to celebrate. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a great reunion weekend. <laughs>